I'm Mikkel Schwartz and I am Vice President of Marketing. Hi, I'm Shawnee Corbett Rice and I am the Senior Director of Marketing at Warner Records. Stop the door from going. You can't stop the world from knowing. Yeah, I think um, we wanted to, you know, create a positive environment um, for the women of Warner. I mean, you, you work with your coworker, you're here every day, 24, like almost 24 hours, it feels like. Um, and so we just wanted to make sure that we had a positive environment where um, women felt like we can get advice from each other, we can have fun. <laughs> Um, we can learn from each other. We can empower each other and yeah. kind of give a voice to kind of everyone in the organization, provide opportunities for people to grow, to, um, you know, kind of create a little bit more team unity. We hosted a yoga class um, downstairs and actually one of, um, one of our employees who work here, she actually hosted it for us. Um, and we had a little fun with yoga and then after we had some cocktails. Mm -hmm. um, we also had a, a mixer on the roof um, of the Warner building where we invited all the women of Warner um, upstairs and we just kind of really got to know each other. So it was a great way for us to kind of just get together and do that. And we um, wanted to give back to our community as well and not just have like some fun events, which, you know, we all love having fun and having a couple cocktails, but we wanted to get to know, um, you know, our new downtown neighborhood a little bit better. So. We've also uh, donated our time to the downtown women's shelter um, where we provided kind of toiletry kits because they have an, a space for women to uh, take showers and we sorted through donations and got a great tour. And I think it really um, inspired a lot of us to want to continue that relationship, which is also the point um, now that we're in the downtown neighborhood and wanted to make a positive impact. Was she so brave though, just like a tornado? I think if I can go back and tell my younger self anything, um, it would be to continue being a badass, to be completely honest. I think um, as women, we're told to sometimes not be as outspoken, or if we are being outspoken, we're um, being a bitch. Can I say that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> or you have to apologize. Yeah, you have to be apologetic for it. And I think um, I would tell my younger self to be unapologetic and to you know, demand respect and things that you want um, in this business the same way men do or you know people who have higher level positions and I think that um, you know it's important to know that very young on in the business. Um, yeah a couple of things I would tell my younger self one would be to not sweat the small stuff and to really trust your instinct um, and to know that in the long run you know every mistake is a, a chance to learn more um, also to seek out mentors and to make sure that you find them and um, exploit them because that's what they're there for. Um, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to speak up. Kind of, you know, similar to what Shawnee said, like, do not be apologetic about what you're doing or asking or your actions. Like, what you do counts. You belong in that space. Um, and to not suffer from imposter syndrome because I think a lot of us do, still do. So, yeah, be confident. This is a really interesting question because I struggle with it every day, but I think most importantly is you have to set boundaries. You have to know when to turn work off, you have to know when to turn work on, and um, I also think that there's never going to be a perfect balance, so you also have to be okay with that. I think I have to agree with pretty much what Mikkel is saying. I think both of us being moms and um, we we talk about it all the time about just making sure that we have that balance. Um, for myself, a lot of it is traveling. Um, I try to make sure I take a vacation once, twice, <laughs> sometimes three times a year um, in order to, you know, just kind of relax and take away all the stress that comes from, you know, sometimes working at a record label. Um, and I think that's really important to really do is to really just take time for yourself. And that could be traveling, that could mm -hmm. be shopping, that could be reading a book. Um, so it's fine to kind of just like come back to it tomorrow with a fresh brain. So I think that that's really how I look at things. You can stop I think my advice would be um, is to not believe a lot of the, the, the rumors or this kind of notion that um, women are not supportive of each other, and that um, there's this 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 like cutthroat, catty way that you have to 
um, treat each other in order to get to the top. We can all coexist um, as women um, and you don't have to, you know, cut another woman's, you know, path to create your own. A piece of advice I would uh, tell anyone entering the industry, especially women, is also not only, you know, seek out mentors and make sure you kind of keep them along the way, because like Shawnee, you know, I've had the same one since I started in the business. Truth will set you free. Outgoing, um, I would say confident, and the last one I would say is um, supportive. Those are my words. Those are good ones. <laughs> Um, I would say compassionate, loyal, and intelligent. You